How many times have you told yourself that today is going to be the day that you are going to enter your productive girl era only to set your alarm for 7 a.m., wake up, turn off your alarm, and go straight back to sleep? If you want to put a stop to that once and for all and finally live the disciplined, hardworking, and productive life you've always dreamed of, you've come to the right place because today we're going to make that happen. And now that we're all grown up, you've disappeared for a while. I wish that I knew why. It all starts with recognizing both the possibility and the need for change in our lives. It's about understanding that we're not fully realizing our potential and that there's a world of untapped opportunities lying in wait. If only we could find the initiative to pursue them. This is what will give us the motivation to get started, not to settle for what we already have, and just as importantly, to persevere when the going gets tough. This realization should come from a place of self-compassion, not self-hate or self-contempt. It's not about beating ourselves up or trying to coerce a complete life transformation overnight. Instead, what I'm asking of you is to recognize the incredible potential that we all have within us, the passions we could be pursuing, and the goals we could be achieving if we didn't allow fear, anxiety, procrastination, or other hurdles to stand in our way. Embrace the opportunities that you have, whatever those may be, and remember that even though staying might feel safe and comfortable, a never-ending cycle of procrastination actually comes at the cost of every dream you'll ever have. This awareness serves as the initial spark, the catalyst that ignites the fire within us to start moving towards bigger and better things. It's what inspires us to first recognize our potential and then, in the light of that reaction, take the first step towards realizing it. It's about embracing our dreams, breaking free from the shackles of self-doubt, and stepping confidently into our productive era. Comfort zones can be deceptive. They often feel safe and secure, but they can also be our greatest hindrance. How many times have we retreated into our cozy routines, taken refuge in familiar spaces, and hidden away in our comfort zones when we should be facing our anxieties head on? The relationship between comfort and productivity is a difficult one. While no one can endure endless anxiety, nor can they ever succeed without embracing some amount of success and discomfort. So while everyone needs space that provides refuge and safety, we all have to learn to recognize when we are overusing these spaces, leaning on them too heavily, using them to conceal our fears and prolong our procrastination long past any reasonable point. If you're recognizing yourself here, consider that what you might really need is not a refuge from your problems, but rather the desire and ability to confront them head on. Because at the end of the day, that's where real comfort and relaxation is found. Not in covering up the symptoms of our problems, but in facing up to them with courage and determination. So right now, my favorite jewelry brand is called Hey Harper. I love their stuff because they are completely waterproof. And you know how a lot of other jewelry, they like become green or they like make your fingers green or your ears green. This never happens with Hey Harper and their products won't tarnish and the color won't fade. So these are my favorite earrings. They're just little hoops and I think they're so cute. I used to never be a jewelry person, but I feel like adding jewelry to your look or your things just makes me feel a little bit more put together. I feel like with holidays and Christmas coming up, we always spend so much time focusing on what we should get other people and often forget our own needs. So with Black Friday coming up, I feel like it's the perfect time to spoil yourself and buy a couple of jewelry pieces that will really last you a long time that look really, really cute. And for the entire month of November, use my promo code dear underscore Rebecca to get 50% off your entire purchase. So for some inspo, I'm going to show you a few more pieces from them that I really enjoy. Here are the earrings up close. They're so freaking cute. This is the necklace that I have from them. It is 
just this little sun these are some of the rings that they have as well let me know are you a gold jewelry person or silver this tennis necklace literally makes me feel so bougie and this bangle matches these earrings so well so once again treat yourself this month get yourself some jewelry that you know that you'll love and get 50 percent off this entire month with my code here underscore rebecca Ultimately, what we want is safety derived from real progress and achievement because while curling up in our beds might make us feel better temporarily, it only guarantees us that we will be ultimately left more vulnerable and unfulfilled than before once we realize how big of a hole we've dug for ourselves. Breaking free from the cycle isn't easy, but it's the key to unlocking our full potential. One of the best ways to start doing that is to establish a consistent routine. It's important to recognize that uncertainty and chaos are often what cause anxiety and procrastination. When we have a well thought out plan for the day, knowing exactly when, how, and on what will be working, the hurdle of starting becomes much more manageable. We don't spend hours trying to avoid thinking about the work we have to do because we've already started planning how we're going to do it, which makes it less scary and much more easier to start. And starting, of course, is always the hardest part. If we can manage this, it can only get easier from here. With a clear plan, we don't need to waste our precious energy and mental bandwidth wrestling with uncertainty and anxiety and figuring out where to begin. We can jump right into our work feeling supported and motivated by the plan we've created ourselves. It is actually snowing so hard outside right now. Look at this. Good days and bad days. Winter is coming. Cause you always have answers to problems that I all right everyone it is eight hours later and i'm done work for the day i'm going to go watch the ballon d'or award so show to see who wins see this year which is really exciting what are we watching right now ballon d'or ceremony Having a daily routine isn't just about making our lives more predictable, it's about creating a structured environment that allows us to focus on what truly matters. It's a path to consistency and momentum, where each day builds upon the success of the previous one. With a routine in place, we wake up with purpose, knowing that we're not starting from scratch, but are building upon the foundation we've laid. Hi everyone, I'm going to be getting ready for soccer now um, and it's getting dark outside so quickly. It's only 6 p.m. After soccer, I'm going to eat food, have a nice shower, finish editing a whole entire video that I'm going to be posting tomorrow and have a nice sleep. I don't always think about you till first heaven when I do Our journey through a productive girl era will never be successful without addressing the fundamental importance of health. Our physical and mental well-being plays a pivotal role in our pursuit of a more fulfilling and productive life. No matter what our goals and ambitions, everything I've talked about before, from exercise to nutrition to proper sleep, all the way to checkups and blood work, still applies. A healthier lifestyle will lead to higher energy levels, ability to be productive, and just better overall wellness. But I also want to touch upon something else, committing to some form of rigorous daily activity, whether that be physical or mental, can become the best and most reliable way to derive a sense of pride and accomplishment from each and every day. It's easy to feel a little bit lost. I know on some days, in spite of everything, I feel like I have no idea what I'm supposed to be doing. I mean, I know that I have to wake up, make breakfast, and eventually get to work, but when I think 10 or 20 years ahead, I ask not just what I'm supposed to be doing, but why. That's when I start to come up short. I've recently found it more and more valuable to think deeply about what I really want out of this life. What I 
think I need to be happy, to find purpose and fulfillment, and to feel safe and well supported on a deeper level. And this doesn't mean figuring out what others most expect of us or what goals we think we're supposed to pursue, but rather we want to identify the outcomes and achievements that are most in line with our values and ambitions. One thing we have in common is whatever lives we're living, we only have one of them. We're only given one story to author, and if you want to be satisfied with it in the end, you can't delegate the task of writing it. All right, for the next few hours, I'm just going to be editing this video for tomorrow until it's time to head to bed. You have to be the one in charge, making your own decisions that are authentic and truly reflect the kind of person you want to be, shaping the world that you want to create. That doesn't mean that everything will be easy or that you'll never feel conflicted and always be happy, but if you know not just what you're doing but why and truly believe in yourself, then you'll always have a good reason to get up in the morning and live your life. Know that you're capable of so much more than you believe. With enough consistency and the right support, one day at a time, we can all achieve our dreams. And if you enjoyed this video, you can subscribe to join the community where we're all pursuing our dreams together. Nothing that proceeds from this